sponsored by Bet365. Hello and welcome to the Super Team Show. I'm Sarah Friend, here to run you through all the ins and outs for all the Aussie teams in Round 7 of Super Rugby. There are just two Aussie games this weekend and we kick things off on Saturday night when the Reds host the Bulls. Queensland welcomes James O'Connor back into the side for the clash but Hunter Pasami will miss the match with a knee injury. Bryce Hegarty will start on the wing and is set to take over the goal kicking duties against the Bulls. In the forwards, Dane Zander has earned his first Super Rugby start with J.P. Smith unwell. And Isaac Rodder is set to rest for the second game in a row. The Reds made a late change to their 23 as well, rushing Jack Stracker from New Zealand into the Queensland squad and onto the bench for Saturday's match. So we're looking for we had two tight head props uh, um, go down to you know, season long injuries. So we're looking for a tight head over the last few weeks. and. Jack popped up, but we saw him. He's been over in New Zealand for a fair while. It's a Brisbane boy. Colin has trained over there. He plays both sides, and we had a look at him. We we're impressed. And you know, Tenniel has been playing long minutes. Obviously, we're bringing Josh Nash along nice and quietly. But uh, we wanted um, a backup there, and he's fitted the bill. And yeah, he'll be um, getting opportunity hopefully on uh, tomorrow night. On Sunday, it's an Aussie Derby in the nation's capital as the Brumbies host the Waratahs. Test prop Scott Seo will miss the match with a hand injury. James Slipper to start in his place. Joe Powell starts at halfback and Andy Muirhead comes onto the wing. We've had an excellent week of preparation. The boys have been uh, really good. You can tell there's an edge about them. And as we said, it's a standalone game. You don't worry about form in, in these sort of games. It's like the old inter interstate matches, you know what I mean? So. To, they'll be up for it, um, they have to be, and, um, and we'll be up for it as well. So, yeah, I think they've shown glimpses, haven't they? They were very good against the Lions, and at half time on the weekend, they were, they were in a really good position. The Chiefs are just one of those teams that they can put three tries on you quickly, and they did that. Now let's take a look at the Waratahs and skipper Rob Simmons and winger Mark Noanga Nitawase will start in Canberra, overcoming injuries to be named. Damien Fitzpatrick will start at hooker, the only other change to the starting 15 for New South Wales. Prop Tom Robertson also returns from injury on the bench. Derbies, I've been you know, lucky enough to experience some pretty unique derbies in world rugby and be part of them. And um, This is... Yeah, you know, they're, they're the great occasions where I guess uh, people have the opportunity to really test themselves against their mates, and, and they all want to have the bragging rights. And um, you know, the Brumbies have had a great start to the year, and we haven't. And um, you know, I hope that our attitude is reflected about you know with the status that we're in um, that you know that it's noticeable that there's um, a, some good energy and, and um, some great accuracy and some pride in what we're trying to do. Now let's take a look at all the odds across all the matches this weekend. The Chiefs are short price favourites against the Hurricanes. The Blues are heavy favourites over the Lions on Saturday in Auckland. The Crusaders are almost unbackable against the Sunwolves in Brisbane. The Reds have the edge over the Bulls in the second Suncorp Stadium match. And all the money is on the home teams on Sunday. The Sharks and the Haguares backed over the Stormers and Highlanders. And the Brumbies are short price favourites against the Warriors. If you're going to have a punt this weekend, please do so responsibly and don't forget you can keep up to date with all the match highlights, previews and reviews right here on rugby.com.au. I'll see you next week for round eight.